Ubiquiti have released a major update for Unify Protect, so let's take a look. Here we have Unify Protect 4.1.5 and they add in two major abilities within this. We have the new Alarm Manager and we have archive your footage to your NAS. So this is something that's not been available up until now. You've only been able to use Google Drive and OneDrive, but now you can use your local NAS. Let's take a quick look and run down this list. So we have a pop-up page on the front, which comes up when you first go to protect. The alarm manager, which has been added in for triggers and custom notifications and actions. Archive your footage. Shortcut feature to the dashboard pane when a single camera is expanded. So that's an interesting one. We'll take a look at that. And the ability to unlock access doors from the shortcut feature. So again, this is gonna be another big one that's gonna be really good. Uh, the AI detection confidence level display to the detection highlight and detection pane. There's an option for a custom ringtone when you choose, when you've upgraded your firmware for the doorbell. So you, that requires 1.7.1 or 1.7.10, sorry. And there's a few little smaller updates down below. But what we're really interested in is the alarm manager and the archiving to an SMB file share or a SIF file share. So I've already gone ahead and I've already gone ahead and ran the Unify update. So if I go to here, I am actually running, if I show you just there, 4.1.50. So we're running the latest and greatest and access is also up to date. Uh, we can go back to Unify Protect. And if I go, go back and look to the first functionality, which is the archiving. So here's one camera that I have sat right in my room behind my desk, which I do some testing with. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you how this works. So we archive as we normally would, we grab a whole section whatever we need. So let's grab a few minutes worth. There you go. And then you can see down here, we've grabbed five or six minutes worth and we want to download this to a device. So you can download it directly as you normally would to your computer, or you can go ahead and add more options. And you can see right here, we have the NAS functionality. We go ahead and press next, and then it's going to ask you for an IP address and a password. So I'm going to type this in and it's going to go off and try and connect to it. So we'll give that a second. And um, there you go, that's connected straight in. So then we collect where we want to send it to. So I want to send it to a place called files and then we click confirm and that's going to go off and send that to that location. And you can see right there, 45 meg. If I now go to the files folder, I'll bring this up here and you can see there's actually a Unify folder that's just been created. So we click on Unify, Unify protect. We can see that file is now in here and it's being played back. So really easy and simple to set that up. You can do this with multiple cameras at the same time. So you don't need to do it one at a time. The next thing I am going to take a look at is the alarm functionality. And you can see right here, as soon as you go straight into it, we have the triggers up here and we have a create alarm button at the top. So we can go ahead and click that and it's a new alarm. What you want to do, so you can select the definition, so whether it's going to be motion, line crossing, person, vehicle, animal, package, uh, speaking, so if somebody's talking there, baby crying, barking, smoke, so there's a whole bunch on here, glass breakage, siren, burglar, so there's quite a lot on here. There's a bunch of recognition, so known faces and unknown faces. This is going to be great for things like Unify Access, where you want to use your known faces to automatically open your gate or even your doors, so this is really good. Person of interest, known license plates, unknown license plates, and vehicle of interest. Again, don't need to just use your face for your gate. You can go ahead and use it for your vehicle as well. So that can then pick up a number plate and then trigger actions within there. There's a lot of testing I wanna be doing with this and playing around with it because there's a massive amount of functionality that this includes right here. There's also the doorbell sensor. So when it rings, when there's a, when it senses motions, extreme values, it's a leak, alarm. So there's quite a few things that you can do in here. So for now, let's just tick motion, person, for now and click save. And then we wanna include all devices at this point or for now, I'm going to include my G3 instant that I have here. So I click save. And then what do you want it to do? Do you want it to send a notification? Do you want it to webhook? So with webhook, you can use Slack posts. You can get it to post in Slack and then you can put the URL in there or you can use a custom webhook, but you'd need to populate the delivery URL. There are some advanced settings where you can actually do get and post. So the possibilities are really going to be endless with this. You can add multiple actions as well. So keep that one in mind. It doesn't just send a notification, do a webhook and unlock your data, gate or door. You can go ahead and do multiple of these. So you can add three. I don't know what the maximum is here, but I'm going to go to 10. Yep, you can go more than 10. I'm not going to do more than that. But that gives you a rough idea on how that works. So for now, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do send notification first and then action number two, I'm gonna select unlock 
gate or door. And then you can select the location that you want. I only have one test door, so I'm gonna go ahead and press save just there. We'll give that a name, so IW demo door unlock, and then we go ahead and press save. And there we go. We can see that that's there right there, and there's also shows you the actions within two. So let's put this to the test. I'm just gonna open up Unify Access so we can see the door. So we can see the door, we can see it's locked at this point. And then I'm gonna face my camera towards me and then let's see if it gets unlocked. There you go. You can see that just went to unlocked just that second ago. And that was me using my G3 instance. So it definitely works. It does what it's supposed to do. There's gonna be so much customization you can do now within Unify Protect that you weren't able to do before. The next thing was the shortcuts. So this is a little button that you can see just here. So when you zoom into the camera, there's a button that says add shortcuts. And what we can do there is you can click anywhere. So you can imagine this could be the front or pointing to a door and you can go ahead and click a button just there. And you can say, I wanna link it to the doorbell. And then that links there, or I can click another one and say, I wanna test it to my test door. So I have Unify Access here where I can unlock. So we can go ahead and press save just here and you can go ahead, click to unlock and that will go and unlock the door. So it's really easy and simple to do that. Or if you wanna go ahead and click here and view the camera to the front door, you can also do that as well. So again, another very handy feature for a lot of people to be able to do those quick triggers should you need it within your Unify setup. The last thing I wanted to show you before we wrap this up is the chime. So we have smart Wi-Fi chime here, we have the settings and you can see the paired chimes within. So we have the default, the traditional, the Sundrop Express that we've come to know and see on here, but you can also click upload. You can choose a custom tone that you want to be played. If there's anything you want me to go a bit further into detail and do some more testing and playing around with, uh, I am hoping to get more into the alarms and triggers because I think that is going to be very powerful, but let me know down in the comments below or if there's anything else on this update that I've missed that you want me to dive a little bit deeper into. I hope you found this video useful. For now, this is Inside Wire and I'll see you in the next one.